thank you for visiting my YouTube channel to get your daily Bible verse and Bible chapter. I hope you have a great day and come back each and every day for a new verse and a new chapter. Thank you and God bless. Second Chronicles chapter 7 God approves of his new digs. Just as Solomon finishes his speech, a huge ball of fire comes down from the heavens and lights the burnt sacrifices on fire. Nice torch. It is clear to everyone that the glory of the Lord filled the temple. The people at the festival started thanking God and Solomon offers more sacrifices. The priests, the Levites, and the temple musicians all sang God's praises. The temple thing is really coming together. The people gather in the city to celebrate for two weeks because Solomon has finally finished what he set out to do, build a house for God. One night, God appears to Solomon for a second time. The Almighty confirms that he will be residing in the temple because he's in Jerusalem. People can always feel free to come in to chat. When the people sin and God is forced to show them who's boss in the form of droughts, plagues, and persistences. He lets Solomon know he'll be waiting for his apology in the temple. If the people of Israel are humble and sorry about the things they have done wrong, God is totally willing to stop killing them with disease and famine. God promises to live in the temple forever and that David's descendants will rule over Israel internally. There's one catch. If the people of Israel turn their backs on God by destroying his laws or worshiping other gods, deals are officially null and void. If that happens, God will throw them out of the land He so generously given them and crushed the new temple to the ground. People might wonder why God would do this, but deep in their hearts, they'll know the reason. They betrayed God, so he stopped talking, taking care of them. It's in the covenant thing. Galatians 6.10 Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. Galatians 6.10 Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. One of my favorite verses 
is Philippians 4.13. And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have your own favorite verse, please put that down below and let me know what it is. Again, today's verse is Galatians 6.10. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. Always remember to smile because you never know what a smile can do for someone's day. Thank you and God bless. And I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can remember to watch each and every day's video. Thank you for the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please help me expand my ministry. Thank you and God bless.